What's up everyone and how are you today and welcome to another episode of the morning segment I am your host Nick Smith and I just got done watching the trailer Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Now I had to go and watch this a couple times <clears throat> And I'm just gonna say this trailer looks amazing and this movie looks like it's going to be amazing Probably my favorite thing in the trailer and it's probably everyone else's is the end where we hear Batman say in a robotic voice Tell me do you bleed because you will and it's so awesome and, and we see Ben Affleck in the suit and, and I'm not just talking about the robotic suit but I mean like in the actual Dark Knight Returns Batman suit and Ben Affleck looks like he's gotten huge you know like they like they're basing this off the Frank Miller comic the Dark Knight Returns and in that comic Bruce Wayne is a monster he's as bad as big as Brock Lesnar or bigger I don't know but like in the in the short animated film before he became Batman again he was walking down the streets and the mutants were like uh, were trying to get him and Bruce just looks at him and he's like come on come on and they're like no dude this guy's this guy's too big let's uh, no no and they got that look perfectly Ben Affleck looks great the suit looks like it really fits him I see Batman I don't see Ben Affleck I don't see Daredevil I see Batman and I think Ben Affleck was a perfect casting for this. Uh, they have Ben Affleck looking old. Like, because like, in The Dark Knight Returns, Bruce is like in his 50s, early 60s. Because he hasn't been Batman for 10 years. And I don't know if that's what they're going to be doing. I don't know if they're going to have him not being Batman as much. Because in the trailer, like we... In the trailer, we get a lot of talking. Like the first of it, like we hear Lex Luthor talking about how devils don't come from hell beneath us they come from the sky and um i honestly okay after listening to this trailer twice elastigirl from the incredibles makes an appearance because <laughs> like at the last end of it like they're talking about like, there's no talk about what he is gonna do or a talk of what he should do and the trailer focuses about like how each different person views superman it shows him it shows a lot of people tr uh, basically kind of worshiping him. Like when he flies down into this place, the army just bows to him like a king. And so now Lex Luthor, <clears throat> Lex Luthor's pretty much like, uh, like well, okay, well, let, me, let me rephrase that. There's a person in the trailer who talks about how the, uh, we as a planet has been looking for a savior and how Lex Luthor's pretty much talking about like demons don't come from hell they come from beneath us and so it the trailer shows like where we see a we see a monument and it has false god written on Superman's chest and so then we get talk from Alfred about like how about like how some good people become bad people like it like the feeling of hopelessness or uh, the anger the 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 rage and when it's doing this it's showing Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne looking at the bat suit and and then it just starts taught it just like starts showing like the Batmobile the Batwing uh, Ben Affleck walking around in the suit and now one thing that I'm thinking that they're gonna do in the original comic of the Dark Knight Returns I think they're gonna have the roles switched because in the Dark Knight Returns Batman is the one who is doing what he does and the government doesn't like it and so they send in Superman to kind of put him down whereas in this they've been building it up ever since they shown that scene of uh, when Zod is talking in, in Man of Steel when Zod comes down he's like people you are not alone it shows Batman in the Batcave in the suit looking at this video footage and people are wondering is Superman gonna seek out Batman or is Batman gonna seek out Superman and what I'm thinking is going to happen is because of all the destruction all the lives that were lost Batman is going to come after Superman and I don't know if he's gonna try and take him down but if he's going to base if he's basically trying to tell him he's like look you can't kill people because Batman doesn't kill he won't kill and so I don't know if that's what they're gonna be doing but they've been building it up to the whole instead of Superman coming after Batman Batman's coming after Superman ever since the end of Man of Steel ever since the whole uh, ever since that whole shot that they've had with Batman looking at the video screen with Zod talking they've been building it up to be that kind of thing and so I think it's gonna be really good to see the roles reversed and see how it's going to go. Now, the only this movie I'm I'm looking forward to. Don't get me wrong, but I do have one kind of fear. 
is I know that this is called Batman Superman Dawn of Justice, which means the beginning of us possibly seeing the Justice League. The only thing, I know that we're getting Wonder Woman in this movie. I know we're getting, if I'm correct, I, know, I, I heard we are getting Aquaman. I think we're getting Aquaman. And I've heard we're also getting Cyborg. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but just some things that I have seen. Um, and if that is true, the only thing I'm afraid of is all these characters are going to overshadow Batman and Superman because this is the start of the Justice League. This is their movie. And so, you know, I'm just kind of afraid that it'll be kind of like, you know, they're, them telling us we're setting up the Justice League. We're setting up the Justice League. We're setting up the Justice League. Here's Batman and Superman. Oh, there's Wonder Woman. There's Cyborg. There's Aquaman. And I'm just afraid that they might overshadow it, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like they're going to do this perfectly well. They did with the Avengers, they had all the characters and they did it perfectly, and I think they will. I am I mean, I'm pretty sure they will, because Zack Snyder, he knows what he's doing. Zack Snyder is amazing. He is an amazing director, and I really think that this is going to be a good film. But that's just the only thing I'm worried about, is that all the other characters might overshadow the importance of the film and the meaning. But I think that that won't happen. But it's just a, a little a little thing. But other than that, this trailer looks great. The movie looks great. I cannot wait to watch it. I honestly hope that you all are looking forward to it. Put in the comments below, what do you think about the trailer? What do you think about all the stuff that they're doing with Ben Affleck, the suit, the robotic voice? Uh, tell me what you think about it. Comment below and let me know. And guys, have a good day.